By some accounts, Albuquerque has more than a thousand rundown homes, homes that need serious work. But it's proving to be very difficult for the city to even demolish the worst of those. News 13's Rebecca Adkins is live near East Central in Charleston with the story. Well, Kim, this property has had issues for years, and tomorrow night City Council could vote to tear it down. But it's taken a long time to get to this point. It's the worst of the worst. Boarded up windows, a yellow sign designating the house as substandard on the front door, and needles in the yard. Vacant properties like this can be found all over the city. Every city councilor gets complaints about abandoned houses. For years, this house on Charleston Street, just off Central in the International District, has been a huge nuisance to neighbors and the city. Squatters come and go, windows are shattered, and trash strewn about. This is another one of our long-term vacant abandoned properties that the city's finally requiring the owner to step up and do something about. The house is in City Councilor Pat Davis's district and it's set to be heard by City Council tomorrow for a vote to be demolished at a cost of 24 grand. The city's planning department says the Charleston Street house has hit its limit of chances. This picture from Google Images shows the property back in 2014. It was just as run down and had a yellow sign on it back then too. It starts with safety. So we want to ensure that uh, people are safe when they are in their own neighborhood. It's a long process. Last year, the city only tore down one home. Planning and zoning says it looks at three main issues before resorting to such dire measures. Calls to service, the state of the property, and how many liens have been placed on the home. There is a process that takes place, so it will take a little while for us to get to a point of demolition. To illustrate this, the case against the Charleston home is 67 pages long. It includes a detailed history of every legal move against the owner and every attempt to get him to fix up the place. In the end, the home may escape the bulldozer because a new owner has taken over. He's shown us a plan and the money that he has to bring this back to life, and that's the point of this process. Property has lined up construction permits, added this new fence that is even doing environmental testing. He says the vote for demo will likely be deferred from tomorrow's meeting. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Again, because the new owner of the property is the one who's lined this all up, those construction permits and the other issues there. The planning department says they are looking at two other homes to move forward with demolition on those.